Welcome to Gainesville Health Connections. It's the show that travels North Central Florida, answering your questions as to how we can all feel more confident in our health, our appearance, and our overall well being. From cutting edge dental care to the incredible results being seen through non surgical spinal decompression, advanced imaging technology, and so much more. So, if it will help you to connect to a healthier, more vibrant lifestyle, then you'll find it here first on Gainesville Health Connections. Let's get started. You don't want to underestimate the power of a vibrant, healthy smile. Listen to this. Every time you flash those pearly whites, you release endorphins, you boost heart health, and you appear more confident and self-assured. But the best part is, smiling is contagious. So go ahead and share that beautiful smile with the help you'll find at Pavlik Orthodontics. So Dr. Pavlik, I've been doing a little bit of research on the many benefits, health benefits of having, you know, a really good, vibrant, healthy smile. And it's not just appearance. There's so much more to it. That's true. It's, it's more than just the, the looks of the teeth. It's the health of the teeth. It's being able to brush and floss correctly. The teeth to be able to function together, that's important. And there's definitely more than just the looks and the appearance. We understand how important safety is to our patients and we have done a lot to ensure that patients and their families are safe during these times. Each of our patients are provided with a private room and we don't have everyone in a big space, which is something very important to us. Uh, we're utilizing an air filtration device to keep the air in each room safe to breathe for certain procedures. Our staff is following all recommended safety protocol and we're really limiting the number of people that we have in the office at any given time. So when a patient comes to you for their first consultation, what are you looking for? First, do they have all the teeth? Are they, are they present? Are they in the mouth? Are they erupted? Are we still waiting on baby teeth to come out? I'm looking at how uh, their teeth come together, what their bite looks like. Do they have overbite, underbite, spacing, crowding? Um, I'm looking for a lot of different things. Now, why is a bite so important? I know it can be uncomfortable in your mouth, but there's actually more to it. Biting is mainly for, for function. You, you want to be able to, to chew your food correctly. Severe bites, you can have issues with enunciating words and, and pronouncing things and, and speaking. So there's some speech part of it. There's, there's chewing and, and that sort of thing. It's definitely more than what a lot of people think. Now, you've been practicing in orthodontics for quite some time. Have you noticed that technology has helped kind of advance what you're able to accomplish? It has. With the advent of digital modeling and digital radiography and x-rays and things like that, it's definitely helped us to be able to diagnose a little bit better, and ultimately that leads to a better finished product. It also helps with treatment time. So it can speed up treatment time and help us get to the end goal faster than, than we would have otherwise. So by having advanced imaging, then you're able to kind of pinpoint the problem areas a little more accurately? We're looking at the, the not only the, the teeth that everybody sees, but we look at the underlying bone, the jaw structure, the roots and things like that, and, and, and it helps us identify if there's any, any issues that we're going to have moving teeth. So I know that you as a um, practitioner are noticing some advances, but what about from the patient's perspective? It's a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. they're, they're in and out of treatment sometimes a little bit faster. It's a little bit more comfortable if they choose something like Invisalign where they're able to avoid the brackets and the wires and things like that. It can be a little bit easier on them but it's also fun from the perspective of they can choose whatever colors they want when they come in and there's more of an interactive thing to, to orthodontics now. So is there a certain age that you prefer to start seeing a patient? We like to see people when they're about seven years old. American Association of Orthodontists recommends that uh, everybody touch base with an orthodontist about the age of seven. But generally speaking, we're just kind of looking for how are the jaws developing? How are the teeth developing? Are they erupting properly? And we're kind of looking at more growth things at that point mm -hmm. and kind of get an idea of what we're facing down the road. Now, I'm obviously not that age anymore, but I'm noticing a lot of my friends are getting either Invisalign, which you mentioned, or full-on braces as adults. Are you noticing that trend as well? Absolutely. There's definitely a trend towards more adults going through uh, orthodontics and braces and Invisalign mm -hmm. now. Uh, I would probably say about a third of our practice are, are adults, so it's, uh, it's definitely a demographic that's growing, and, and there's really not an age where there's uh, where you can't move teeth. There's not an age that you can't do braces or orthodontics, so I, I usually use the term seven to 70, uh, we can pretty much see anybody uh, that, that wants to get their teeth straight. Now I love coming into your office because everyone here, they know you by name, they greet you with a smile, and it's a really, it's a small office feel. Why, why have you decided to go with this approach? This approach works for us because it's, it's more of a family environment. Uh, we're able to give more personal attention. We'd like to focus on um, the person when they're here, maximize their time because their time is important too. And we just like to make it a, a, an enjoyable experience the, the whole process through. 
So you're kind of in the business of helping improve people's appearance, their self-confidence. That must be really rewarding on a day-to-day -day basis. It, it is. It's nice to be able to transform the way people view themselves and the way they view their smile and the confidence that it gives them, whether they're going to middle school, whether they're going to high school, whether they're going for that job interview or even getting married. It's nice to be able to see the transformation that takes place and, and the confidence that they now have in their, their smile. Don't be afraid to flash those pearly whites. You'll add years to your life and you may just get a smile in return. For more information about Pavlik Orthodontics or to schedule your next appointment, go to pavlikortho.com. Today we are visiting with Dr. Manish Jani, a board certified radiologist at Doctors Imaging Group. So give us a brief overview of what Doctors Imaging Group is. So Doctors Imaging Group is a private outpatient imaging center dedicated to shining a light on important health issues such as breast imaging. We provide 3D screening mammography, ultrasound including breast ultrasound, as well as ultrasound guided breast biopsy. Our facility is accredited by the American College of Radiology. All of our radiologists are board certified as well. Now your offices are beautiful. I understand that's because of recent renovations? Yeah, we recently did a major renovation to improve the overall patient experience. Mm -hmm. We've always been at the leading edge of science and technology, but we felt that if a patient would be more comfortable, then they would get an overall better imaging study. Now, what makes you all different than other imaging practices? Well, because we're a local practice, we can provide same-day results to women who come for breast imaging. So, for example, if you have a screening mammogram, you can be relieved that your mammogram is normal before you walk out the door. Additionally, if we see a spot on the mammogram that we need to take extra pictures of, we can do that while you're here, so you know exactly what you're dealing with before you go. What happens if you were to discover an abnormality during a screening mammogram? Well, if we see an abnormality on a screening mammogram, we'll usually take specialized mammogram pictures of the area to better characterize it, and then we'll oftentimes do a breast ultrasound as well, which allows us to see the area of abnormality in a different way to get a better diagnosis. If the imaging finds findings require a biopsy, then we can actually offer that biopsy here in this office and that allows for a more comfortable experience for the patient as well. The American College of Radiology recommends that women start annual screening of average risk um, at 40 years of age or sooner um, in patients that have increased risk such as a family history of breast cancer. We recommend annual mammograms because if a patient does develop cancer and we catch them early. Nowadays, those are very curable. If we wait and there's been a cancer, a lot of times those will require more extensive treatment, more extensive surgery, and potentially less chance of a cure. And you also offer x-rays and bone density screenings. We offer x-rays for people, for example, if they have shortness of breath, if they may have a fracture, if they have arthritis, mm -hmm. and then we also do bone densities to screen for osteoporosis as well. So could I just come in, or would I need to see my doctor first? Well, we do need an order, uh, but walk-ins are fine for x-ray. And if my doctor isn't affiliated with North Florida Regional, can I still be seen here? Absolutely. Uh, because we're an independent imaging facility, we take care of patients throughout the North Central Florida region. In fact, we have a full service office in Palatka, which offers all imaging modalities. Right across the street, we have a building, Vascular and Interventional Physicians, which specializes in arterial and venous disorders, where we can do spine injections and joint injections. So we have a full complement of services and specially trained radiologists to meet your imaging needs. Wow, you all definitely offer a lot. Patients can visit our website to learn more detailed information about the procedure we offer, as well as information on where we're located. When you or a family member is in need of diagnostic imaging, Doctors Imaging Group not only provides the technology and expertise, but also a beautiful and relaxing environment as well. If you suffer from joint pain, back or neck soreness, arthritis, or a sports injury and are looking for an alternative to undergoing surgery, then it's time you visit Dr. Charles Tucker at Tucker Chiropractic. I was hit by a car when I was 10 years old. I developed migraine headaches from whiplash trauma and I did not receive results from medical professionals. So my parents took me to the chiropractor and that's where I got results. So since I was the age of 10, I've wanted to be a chiropractor. I've been in business now for almost 39 years. In chiropractic, we manipulate bone structures back into a better position. So I use an activator method. It's highly effective. It is a high speed, low force instrument. It only moves a couple millimeters. But with a high speed, you don't twist, you don't crack. You don't have to get people into odd positions, especially if they're in pain. It works great for neck pain and low back pain, sciatica, but it also works very well for shoulder pains and knee pains and hip pains. I think what makes my practice special or different is that I, I continue doing a lot of education. I recently was certified by the International Medical Advisory Board on Spinal Decompression, so I now am certified to do non-surgical disc decompression. Non-surgical decompression is a way of healing the disc without surgery. It was invented by a Dr. Dyer, a neurosurgeon. Like the activator instrument, it has evolved and the research that they 
have done and the machine that they have used has made it highly successful. For years, I've been telling people the only thing you can do for a bulging disc is go have surgery. That's no longer true. So the way a non-surgical spinal decompression works is it's a very slow and gentle pull on a specific disc. You're only working one disc at a time. What that pull does is it creates a vacuum effect, like sucking through a straw. So if you cut yourself, the blood brings everything it needs to heal that cut up for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The problem with the disc is it does not have a blood supply. Because as the disc dehydrates, it gets narrower like a sponge that's dry. So if you take a sponge and you put it into water, it sucks water into that sponge. What decompression does is it brings that nutrients that the body needs and the oxygen in the water to rehydrate the disc and heal the disc. Conditions that you can treat with spinal decompression are chronic neck and low back pain, herniated discs, ruptured discs, people that have sciatic and uh, arm or leg numbnesses and pain, facet syndromes. The only other treatment for bulging discs uh, is surgery. And I think we all know surgery can be very invasive, very painful. It involves a lot of pain, a lot of drugs, a lot of therapy, and you're out of commission for several months. With decompression, there's none of that. The patient walks out of here, usually the pain is, diminishes within a few treatments, and then we continue to get the disc to heal so the symptoms don't come back. What brought me to Dr. Tucker's office is I had gone to work one day. All of a sudden, my legs just went out from underneath me. And I had pain down my legs. I had pain in my back. He felt very certain that I had bulging disc and possibly a herniated disc. Dr. Tucker told me about a treatment, the non-surgical disc decompression. My experience in getting the treatment was very comforting. It's very relaxing. Each treatment, I felt better and better. My pain level after the treatment was zero. I went to see my medical doctor. She was blown away and she said, Kay, I've never seen anyone with three bulging discs be able to be in the place that you're at with no pain. I would highly recommend Dr. Tucker with the spinal decompression treatment. I am so happy, I feel so good, it works. One session on a spinal decompression unit takes about 45 minutes. The entire series depends upon how much damage there is and a lot of other symptoms. So we take each patient and we fine tune what their treatment protocol needs are. One of the best things about non-surgical decompression is there's absolutely no pain involved. It is a very slow and relaxing traction. So the patient's laying down on the unit and while the, the pulling is happening, because it's so gentle, a lot of people fall asleep. So if you're experiencing chronic neck or low back pain, or you know you have a herniated disc, we'll take a look at it and we'll set up a protocol that will work for you. Tioga Dental is a unique practice in that you have a group of dental professionals who have come together collaboratively to focus on patient care. People who can really work with the patient to make them better, to make them healthier, to make them happy and proud when they smile and be able to put themselves out there. And one thing I hear all the time from patients is that they get frustrated with getting referred out all the time. That's one reason that we've you know, brought a team of specialists here. We enjoy the collaborative effort and by not having to go all over town and go to different specialists, we tend to cut through that in a very efficient manner and the patients really seem to like it. We treat children, we treat the whole family from implants to pediatric care veneers, crowns and bridges, but we feel that with the technologies that we've been able to bring in, we can really make decisions in a better, more educated manner and the overall result is going to be better. So we're really excited about a few new technologies we're using here at Tioga, um, one of which is the oral ID. This is a small blue light that uses fluorescence to highlight any early abnormalities in the tissues. And it's a great tool for screening for oral cancer or early oral cancer lesions. Early detection is important because in the oral cavity, a lot of times when we can see the lesion, it's oftentimes too far along. So we really recommend it for all of our patients 18 and older. Another. Uh, um, technology we have is the iTero scanner. It's a wonderful impressionless system that takes a thousand scans of your mouth and it does it in under five minutes. It allows us to build a 3D model from those scans and when the lab receives it we can make crowns, we can make retainers, mouth guards, we can design and do implant guided surgeries and we can also track whether tooth wear has gotten worse over time and that's a great tool and patients love that. 
I'm a pediatric dentist here at Tioga. I see kids between the ages of 1 to 80. We offer comprehensive dental care for these ages. A child should be seen within six months of their first tooth erupted. This is the age group that you can have the greatest effect as far as establishing dental habits early on. So ideally, here at Tioga Dental, when your child comes for the first visit, the emphasis is definitely towards the preventive aspects of brushing, avoiding cavities, are getting their fluoride and their toothpaste. Here at Yoga Dental, my main concern is getting the patient comfortable in a dental setting. I do not force them to sit in the dental chair if they're not ready. If I have to brush their teeth standing up, we do. So basically, it's tailoring to your child's comfort. At the end of the visit, we try to positively reinforce by allowing them to pick their fun stuff at the treasure chest. We aim to give you guys a fun experience here at Yoga. It's very nice to see kids grow with our practice and transition out, so it is a very satisfying professional experience. Well, I was having a lot of uh, discomfort um, in, in the gum areas. It, it was starting to get extremely painful. The dentists were advising that I should have procedures that I didn't really want to go through. So I did some research and found the LANAP, that's this laser surgery, is being done by Dr. Craighead at Tioga Dental. When the machine was actually being used on me, there was no pain, no swelling. All in all, a very good experience. Many of our patients come in because they have bleeding gums, they have discomfort when they're brushing, when they're flossing, but the problem is that they actually have a bacterial infection in the gums that they may not be aware of. In the past, this required a very invasive surgery. Now, we have the only FDA cleared laser for true periodontal regeneration, and it's called the LANAP system. Literally, by moving this laser beam around the gum tissue, we're able to eliminate the bacteria and some of the diseased tissue without making a single incision. I mean, patients are going back to work the next day. They're having very little discomfort. They usually don't need to take any pain medication afterwards. It's really an amazing system, and it's been working out fantastic. We get a lot of patients that come into our office with missing and broken teeth. Many of these patients had been told for years that they weren't candidates for dental implants because they didn't have enough bone. I can grow bone with advanced techniques so that almost every patient out there is a candidate for dental implants. And it's amazing how we're able to change their lives. We're able to completely restore that patient's smile, restore their function so they can eat anything they want. Patients have huge grins on their face when we take those after photos. Before I got my dental implants, I had trouble with my chewing. I can remember the first time it really hit me how much of a difference they made. My wife and me were eating in a restaurant, and when we got through, she said, you know what just happened? This is the first time that you've ever finished eating before I did. And right then I realized that these dental implants was one of the best decisions I could have ever made. For the best and comprehensive dental care for your whole family, visit the team at Tioga Dental. This may come as a surprise, but the fact is nearly half a million babies are born in the United States every year with either birth defects or prematurely. The March of Dimes has dedicated over 80 years of service to eradicate birth defects, premature birth, and infant mortality. Here's Luanna Huffman. Luanna, I understand that the March of Dimes is getting ready to celebrate 80 years of service. How did this organization get its start? Well, in 1938, President Roosevelt, who was a polio victim, started the first nonprofit, the March of Dimes. Of course, we found a cure for polio with funding to Dr. Jonas Salk. And then in 2002, we switched our focus to preventing birth defects, premature birth, and infant mortality. I was first introduced to the March of Dimes because my father had polio as a young man. Since then, I've had a closer relationship with the March of Dimes because of the birth of our triplets. So they were born eight weeks early. They spent 30 days in the NICU. Without the support of the March of Dimes, I don't think that we would have had such a positive outcome. Research that had been supported by March of Dimes helped their lungs develop. It's kind of crazy having three teenage boys. Life is totally fun and I can't imagine it without them and without the support of the March of Dimes. So would you say that the primary focus then for the, the money that's coming through the March of Dimes is in research when it comes to premature births and birth defects? We're very proud as an organization that 76 cents of every dollar that we raise goes to research. We've launched five prematurity research centers and every one of those centers are looking at something different. So you're attacking the problem from so many different angles. I am an OBGYN and a psychiatrist here at UF Health. 
myself. I have been very amazingly fortunate to have a partnership with March of Dimes and one of their interests is Centering Pregnancy. Centering Pregnancy is actually an innovative form of prenatal care where women actually go through their pregnancy in a group setting. They have much more autonomy and a sense of involvement in their prenatal care. For example, women are actually checking their own blood pressures, checking their own weight and recording those values. So you can imagine as they're sitting in a group in a 90 minute session, how they have much more time with their provider to ask questions, to learn from each other and to have more satisfaction in care. So what does the March for Babies look like in this area? We have a new signature sponsor, Celebration Point. It's provided a lot of energy. Celebration Point, from its conception, has been all about a community involvement and a place for the community to come celebrate life's moments. The March of Dimes came to us actually looking to move their walk to Celebration Point, and we took it a step further and became the signature sponsor. Just the, all the great work that it does for thousands and thousands of families is something that is unparalleled. The boys are identical twin boys and they were born at 26 weeks gestation. They were very, very small. There was a lot of times in the NICU that were, were very, very scary and uncertain. We knew that some of the treatment that they were receiving was directly the result of the research that the March of Dimes had done. Now it seems to me like a lot of the work being done by the March of Dimes is kind of behind the scenes. You may not be aware of it. So what are some of the outreach programs that you're involved with? We have a local uh, NICU family support specialist that is funded by the March of Dimes at our NICU unit at UF Health and it's an amazing support program for the NICU families. On a day-to-day -day basis, the things that a family support coordinator does in an NICU is we try to improve the patient experience by giving the parents a lot of education about how to take care of their babies and how to take care of themselves. We try to give them activities just about every day, a rotating schedule of classes. It's really been helpful for them. They come back after weeks or months being home and they come back to show me their babies and say, look, CJ, how good they're doing. So if someone's watching this segment and they want to get involved, what's the best way for them to do it? The best way is to become a team. Bring your employees. It's an amazing event. A lot of my sponsors do it just because their employees love the camaraderie and the togetherness that they have on our walk day. The other way, is that we are always looking for more sponsors to help our cause. And uh, we have a lot of people that just sign up individually. Join the fight to prevent premature births, birth defects, and infantile mortality. It's a decision that will change lives. For more information, visit marchforbabies.org. You don't want to underestimate the power of a vibrant, healthy smile. Listen to this. Every time you flash those pearly whites, you release endorphins, you boost heart health, and you appear more confident and self-assured. But the best part is, smiling is contagious. So go ahead and share that beautiful smile with the help you'll find at Pavlik Orthodontics. So Dr. Pavlik, I've been doing a little bit of research on the many benefits, health benefits, of having you know a really good, vibrant, healthy smile. And it's not just appearance, there's so much more to it. That's true, it's, it's more than just the, the looks of the teeth, it's the health of the teeth, it's being able to brush and floss correctly, the teeth to be able to function together, that's important, and there's definitely more than just the looks and the appearance. We understand how important safety is to our patients and we have done a lot to ensure that patients and their families are safe during these times. Each of our patients are provided with a private room and we don't have everyone in a big space, which is something very important to us. Uh, we're utilizing an air filtration device to keep the air in each room safe to breathe for certain procedures. Our staff is following all recommended safety protocol and we're really limiting the number of people that we have in the office at any given time. So when a patient comes to you for their first consultation, what are you looking for? First, do they have all the teeth? Are they, are they present? Are they in the mouth? Are they erupted? Are we still waiting on baby teeth to come out? I'm looking at how uh, their teeth come together, what their bite looks like. Do they have overbite, underbite, spacing, crowding? Um, I'm looking for a lot of different things. Now why is a bite so important? I know it can be uncomfortable in your mouth, but there's actually more to it. Biting is mainly for, for function. You, you want to be able to, to chew your food correctly. Severe bites, you can have issues with enunciating words and, and pronouncing things and, and speaking. So there's some speech part of it. There's, there's chewing and, and that sort of thing. It's definitely more than what a lot of people think. 
Now, you've been practicing in orthodontics for quite some time. Have you noticed that technology has helped kind of advance what you're able to accomplish? It has. With the advent of digital modeling and digital radiography and x-rays and things like that, it's definitely helped us to be able to diagnose a little bit better, and ultimately that leads to a better finished product. It also helps with treatment time, so it can speed up treatment time and help us get to the end goal faster than, than we would have otherwise. So by having advanced imaging, then you're able to kind of pinpoint the problem areas a little more accurately? We're looking at the, the not only the, the teeth that everybody sees, but we look at the underlying bone, the jaw structure, the roots, and things like that, and, and, and it helps us identify so if there's any, any issues that we're going to have moving teeth. So I know that you as a um, practitioner are noticing some advances, but what about from the patient's perspective? It's a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. they're, they're in and out of treatment sometimes a little bit faster. It's a little bit more comfortable if they choose something like Invisalign, where they're able to avoid the brackets and the wires and things like that. It can be a little bit easier on them, but it's also fun from the perspective of they can choose whatever colors they want when they come in, and there's more of an interactive thing to, to orthodontics now. So is there a certain age that you prefer to start seeing a patient? We like to see people when they're about seven years old. American Association of Orthodontists recommends that uh, everybody touch base with an orthodontist about the age of seven. But generally speaking, we're just kind of looking for how are the jaws developing, how are the teeth developing, are they erupting properly? And we're kind of looking at more growth things at that point mm -hmm. and kind of get an idea of what we're facing down the road. Now, I'm obviously not that age anymore, but I'm noticing a lot of my friends are getting either Invisalign, which you mentioned, or full-on braces as adults. Are you noticing that trend as well? Absolutely. There's definitely a trend towards more adults going through uh, orthodontics and braces and Invisalign mm -hmm. now. Uh, I would probably say about a third of our practice are adults, so it's, uh, it's definitely a demographic that's growing, and, and there's really not an age where, there's, uh, where you can't move teeth. There's not an age that you can't do braces or orthodontics, so I, I usually use the term seven to 70, uh, we can pretty much see anybody uh, that, that wants to get their teeth straight. Now I love coming into your office because everyone here, they know you by name, they greet you with a smile, and it's a really, it's a small office feel. Why, why have you decided to go with this approach? This approach works for us because it's, it's more of a family environment. Uh, we're able to give more personal attention. We'd like to focus on um, the person when they're here, maximize their time because their time is important too. And we just like to make it a, a, an enjoyable experience the, the whole process through. So you're kind of in the business of helping improve people's appearance, their self-confidence. That must be really rewarding on a day-to-day -day basis. It is. It's nice to be able to transform the way people view themselves and the way they view their smile and the confidence that it gives them, whether they're going to middle school, whether they're going to high school, whether they're going for that job interview or even getting married. It's nice to be able to see the transformation that takes place and, and the confidence that they now have in their, their smile. Don't be afraid to flash those pearly whites. You'll add years to your life and you may just get a smile in return. For more information about Pavlik Orthodontics or to schedule your next appointment, go to pavlikortho.com. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Gainesville Health Connections. Now, if you'd like more information or you'd like to watch the program you've just seen a second or even a third time, go to our website. It's mycbs4.com.